So yesterday, during Hillary Clinton's speech, you may have thought at certain points, well, that's weird. There are random chants in the crowd of Hillary's name. And it happened at a bunch of really strange points that weren't fitting at all. Like, it was so out of place and weird and almost seemed super contrived. Well, thankfully, we know why that is. It wasn't because there was actual genuine enthusiasm for Hillary! 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 Not that there wasn't any enthusiasm in the audience, of course there was. But, but, we know that it's because of Bernie supporters and Bernie delegates on the floor who were chanting other things and then they were attempting to drown out what they were saying. So, for example, at times, Bernie supporters would chant stuff like, Stop the TPP, and the audience was instructed, drown that out with chants of, Hillary. Notice, that actually sounds kind of similar, too. Stop the TPP. Hillary. So you can kind of cover it up and mask it. So that is a sneaky fucking trick. And then whenever Bernie supporters chanted, no more war, you were supposed to override that with USA. And that happened a lot during earlier speeches. A lot of the night guys was very hawkish and militaristic. Like they had a lot of military speakers out there. They had one general with a bunch of diverse faces behind him saying, this is the face of the US military and we will defeat evil. Okay, this is neoliberalism 101. Uh, we're going to do the same old wars and do the same old warmongering, but hey, there's a Sikh guy behind me and some ethnic minorities. Huh? Huh? And so P Bernie supporters in the audience would go, no more war, no more war. And then it would be drowned out with chants of USA, USA. Guys, this was happening at the Democratic Convention. That's scary and that's weird. And look, what this what this goes to show you is exactly what Bernie supporters have been saying all along. What's funny is that in an attempt to disprove Bernie supporters and shut them down, they're actually proving Bernie supporters' points, which is the Democratic Party needs to be less militaristic. The Democratic Party needs to be less in favor of free trade deals, which are just outsourcing deals, which take Decent paying American jobs and ship them overseas or just ship them elsewhere. When you, when your whole point is to, at your fucking convention, shut down those voices, shut out those voices, as opposed to listening to those voices, let me ask you a question. Why wouldn't, if Hillary's against the TPP, as she says she is, why wouldn't she hear the no TPP chant and join in with it? Curious, isn't it? Like, you know, you would think if they're chanting Hillary from her podium, she's like, oh, that's awesome. But if they're chanting stop TPP, again, if that's a position she favors, why wouldn't she be like, yes? Like, if they started chanting raise the minimum wage, well, I don't doubt that she wants to raise the minimum wage. Just the question is how high does she want to raise it? $12, $15, whatever. One At one time it was 12 now it's 15 because of Bernie Sanders. But if they started chanting raise the minimum wage, I don't think the people would be like, we got to override that chant with something else. Why? Because she actually wants to do that. So she'd be like, oh, okay, they're chanting raise the minimum wage. For stop the TPP, oh, no, everybody's got to shut that up. You gotta shut that up. For stop the wars, ooh, Hillary doesn't want to do all that. You gotta shut that up. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet. No more wars, but I mean, we can stay in Iraq, right? We can stay in Afghanistan, right? We can do a little more in Syria, maybe. I mean, no more wars, I agree, but drone strikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia? Those don't count, right? You can stay there. We can stay there. See, this is today's Democratic Party. Your options are Republicans who are just fucking lunatics. Don't take it from me. Read their fucking platform. Ban pornography. <laughs> oh, pornography is a public health crisis. That's what it is. We need to teach the Bible in public schools. That's what we got to do. So you have people who, in the words of Bill Maher, are uh, flat earthers, civil war reenactors, and religious lunatics. That's the Republicans. And the Democrats are a party that are just hunky-dory and lovely for the pharmaceutical companies, for big business interests, for corporations, for Wall Street. So there is no actual left party anymore. If both major parties in the United States are now pro-war, it's just a matter of to what degree and what extent you're pro-war, where's somebody like me supposed to go? Who's against war? I'm against the current wars that we have. Where am I supposed to go? The answer is there's nowhere to go in terms of major parties. So, you know, people 
have made this thing, oh my god, the left, the left Tea Party is developing among uh, Bernie supporters. Good. Good. It should. Now, I'm not talking about left Tea Party in, in a pejorative sense, in the sense that, oh, authoritarian leftists, for example, on college campuses who believe in, in um, safe spaces or whatever the fuck they're called. I always want to call them safe zones. I don't know why. Safe spaces don't say anything that hurts my feelings here and microaggressions and shit like that. People who are so overly obsessed with identity politics and they want to shut down all criticism and stuff like that. I'm not talking about authoritarian leftism as a left Tea Party. I'm talking about a libertarian leftism as a left Tea Party. In other words, people who say, look, here's the deal. We're done playing. We're done fucking around with you clowns and you corporate sellouts. If you're not for single-payer health care, if you're not for universal college, if you're not for clean elections, if you're not for making the minimum wage a living wage, get the fuck out of my party! I'm not interested. Do I have a purity test? You bet your goddamn ass I have a purity test. The difference is, my purity test on the left makes sense. The purity test on the right is absolute drivel and nonsense, and it's a competition for who could be the stupidest person on the planet. There is a difference between a left Tea Party and a right Tea Party. A left Tea Party is correct. So yes, we should exist. Yes, we should fight back against the, the right-wing shift, the right-word shift of the Democratic Party and all the corporate sellouts who have taken it over.